Hello and welcome to the phone burner training. On this particular training, I'm going to show you how you can add the phone burner functionality to your Salesforce environment. Now, before we dive into any how to's or what to's, I do want to talk to you a little bit about what phone burner is. Phone burner is a power dialer. It's a tool designed to help you and your team power through your list of either leads or contacts three to four times faster than you typically would do on your own. Your team will be able to instantly drop voicemails and move on to the next call. You'll be able to automate the sending of emails based off the outcome of the call. And every call that you or your team makes through PhoneBurner will automatically be logged in Salesforce so that you can run additional processes using the tools within Salesforce to get even more done with less time using PhoneBurner. Now let me show you how easy it is to install PhoneBurner into your Salesforce environment and help your team get up and running fast. The first thing we need to do is we need to get the phone burner app installed into Salesforce. This needs to be done by the Salesforce administrator. Super easy to do. You can install in either production or sandbox. Make sure to agree to the terms and conditions. Once you've checked the box, click on confirm and install. I recommend when you're installing the phone burner app that you install it for all users. Once you've made the selection here, go ahead and do the install. Once that's done, when you go back to Salesforce, you'll see Phone Burner listed as an app option in both Classic and Lightning. So if we open the app launcher, you'll see Phone Burner is listed here. Now before your team can actually start smiling and dialing using Phone Burner, there's a little bit of setup per user. So you'll need to go into the Phone Burner app for each user. Once you load the app, you'll see this account section. And on this account page, you'll need to enter an API key and user key that you'll get from within each phone burner member's account. So I'll show you where to get that within phone burner. We go to my account. We go down to the Salesforce integration section and you'll get your API key and user key from here. Once you've got the API key and user key added to your phone burner app in Salesforce, you and your team can start smiling and dialing using phone burner. So you just go into either the leads or contacts object load the view that you want to start calling from, select the contacts, and begin the phone burner session. You'll see how much time you're projected to save by using phone burner, and you hit the start my dial session button. That's going to pop up the phone burner dial session window. At this point, you just log in, and you'll go through a couple configuration steps to get connected and ready to dial. And at this point, the system is going to start calling through the list of contacts that we selected. Let's say we're calling Rochelle Johnson but she doesn't answer. It goes to voicemail. We just click the voicemail button, and you can have multiple voicemail buttons. You don't have to listen to the entire greeting. You don't have to wait for the beep. The system will hang on the line, wait for the beep, and play your voicemail. Let's say we're calling Lisette here, and she doesn't answer. We click to leave her a voicemail, and we're off to the next call. Here we are just one minute into the call, and we're on our third contact. This contact has multiple phone numbers. Let's say we're calling the first phone number and they don't answer. So we hit the no answer button. Now at this point, we can either call the next number or the next contact. Let's say I want to try them at their mobile. So I click the dial button next to the mobile number, and now we're calling the mobile line. If they answer the phone live, no problem. You just start talking to them. No pause, no delays, no awkward silence. Just click the live answer button at some point during the conversation. When you're done talking to them, end the call. What you'll notice is when you end the call, you still have plenty of time to continue to edit the record. And any edits you make to this record during the dial session will be saved directly in Salesforce. Let's say the lead status has changed. We just had a conversation with them. We want to update the lead status. So we double click, change the status, hit OK, save. That has been saved in Salesforce. Look at this. When I click on edit in Salesforce, and you'll see that the lead status has in fact been updated. There it is. Lead status is qualified. And finally, I want to point out that every call that you make using Phone Burner from Salesforce will automatically get logged within that record in Salesforce. Here you can see that that call that we made earlier, where it was a no answer, has already been logged into this record. And as an administrator, you'll be able to run your reports like you normally do in Salesforce and be able to see all the activity that your team is doing while using Phone Burner. Anyway, thank you for taking just a few minutes to watch this quick little video. I hope this video has helped you see how Phone Burner can help you and your team get more done in less time using the Phone Burner Power Dialer. Thank you again, and happy dialing.